Going out in the woods. There's a, there's a lot of these trees out here, and as you see each one of them, especially in this, some of the more far out places, it makes you wonder. How long does it go between baths for some of them? It rains some days, and then sometimes it rains again the next day. But then sometimes it's a week or two, or maybe a month or more, and they just sit there, craving a nice cool water rinsing. And maybe even more than that, what, what if they're craving a back scratch? And there's no one out there giving them back scratches. That's not really what I'm into though. I'm not there to provide that service. I'm sure there are people out there, maybe cousins of the tree huggers, me. I'm here to provide a service known as a uh, abstract portrait tour. And that's what I'm doing here in this video, drawing an abstract portrait of the trees and what's around them, the undergrowth, the, the leaves and the little twigs and the little winding trails made by humans and deers and little uh, you know, rustlings by the squirrels and stuff like that. Sometimes little bugs and stuff land and disturb things. But I say disturb in the best way possible. What I was really painting, what I was really trying to get at is the, the, the true essence of the matter, what holds everything together. I didn't know this at the time, of course. I was just out there enjoying things I liked. One of the things was painting, making art. And the other things were the leaves, the trees, the wood, the air, the dirt, the stones. And it was only later that I realized that I was subconsciously enjoying and reveling in all the weird little forces uh, that I wasn't sure about. The, the forces between all the weird little neutrons and electrons, keeping those from flying apart. Between, between all the atoms and molecules, keeping those from flying apart. Between the little splinters in the trees, keeping those from flying apart. Between the trees and their roots reaching down into the ground, keeping the trees from just flying out of the ground and up into space and keeping my limbs from flying off of my body and my hair from just rupturing out of my scalp and all the bristles on my brush from just, just, just exploding out. Sometimes the bristles on my brush do explode out, but it happens like one bristle at a time. It's very annoying, kind of half a bristle at a time. There's just one little, like little bristle hangnails. And I never sh I'm never sure if I should go ahead and yoink it or just snip it because I feel if I yoink one, the whole, bris the whole brush uh, becomes less secure, right? And then I feel like next time it'll be two bristles. Any pro tips on that? Anyways. I was just glad that the Earth didn't fly apart and out into the universe and that the solar system didn't fly apart and out. Is the, I feel like the solar system is kind of flying apart and out and also in and towards itself at the same time. Maybe that's what orbiting is. And the, the Milky Way is kind of doing that and this the sun is kind of exploding maybe everything is exploding just just as fast as it's going in i don't know so that's what this painting's about just just how weird life is so i think i've succinctly uh very succinctly explained it everything should make uh well 100 percent sense now and uh yeah, I think that's probably one of my strengths. I don't ramble. I don't, I don't just rattle on. I get to the point and I say things with as few words as possible uh, without just kind of having these long sentences that trail on and on and on like a, like a little windy road across some weird mountainous region or maybe a, just a low hilly area and he didn't really know where the trail is going to or coming from and there's some vague signage but you can't tell like which signs are meant for which trails you're just kind of going along the trail and you're not sure where even you started from or where you're going and i don't think i talk like that at all 
or draw that way. Anyways, <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Have a good one.